Let me break something down to y'all, right? As I give myself a cut and show y'all how I cut my hair. Um, when you're in business and you're doing business and you're doing a top quality service or you have a great product, don't let people talk you down or talk down your price. Um, because with that, when that happens, they actually bring down your business because I believe in energy and I work off energy. So once somebody complained to me about a price, I immediately blocked them um, from my business or, or, or whatever I'm selling. I would like it if you don't like the price, you just don't reply and just go to somebody else. Because my products, my service, everything that I sell or do is real things because I put out re my reputation is on the line. So I want people to support my product and give me what I ask for because I actually don't give or sell it for what it's really, really worth. I feel like a lot of the stuff I, I do, I undercharge my, uh, I undersell myself just to get it to the public. But now I realize I can't do that because I'm actually giving more than what I'm getting, which I've been doing and that's what you're supposed to do. But now I'm at the position where I can ask for what it's worth or what I feel it's worth and based on my service. The products are different. The products I'm gonna sell uh, what they are worth and, and etc. But when you let people in your business and you let them um, talk you down and and stuff like that, guess what happens? They go to another person and tell the other person what happened and that other person is gonna come to you too and then you create a whole world of depreciation. And then your value lowers because you let people in with a certain type of energy and they destroy your whole momentum or your whole movement. Don't worry about this cape. I'm just using it because that's all I have. But you letting people destroy your business because you want to be reasonable and nice. And of course you do that but you can't do it all the time. You have to shut these people out because they're there to bring down your business. I never, ever complained to a friend or somebody that I was supporting about their prices because I know that that money will circulate and it will come back to me one way or the other because that person is a business owner. So I don't complain about people's prices. I just pay what they ask. If I don't like it, I go somewhere else. I'm not going to say, yo, bro, why are you charging that much for that? I wouldn't do that because that's making, I'm, I'm projecting a certain type of energy on that person and that actually brings them down. And then they start thinking about it and trying to find ways how, let's uplift each other and support each other. Put yourself in that bracket and work towards paying that. You understand? When you, you actually hurt yourself when you tell yourself, yo, that's too much. I don't want to, you know. When you tell yourself, yo, I got to get that and I'm going to work towards that, you find your way and then you train yourself to actually do that. And then that becomes an issue. Okay? So um, your habits dictate what you become. So once you get into the habit of doing what you want to pay for and work towards it, it will become a part of who you are. If you're a person that's always crying and complaining, you're going to stay in a certain place. That's why certain people stay poor. That's why certain people stay in the position that they are because they look in the bargain instead of looking to work towards what they should work for. And I don't mind and I don't, you know, budgeting is great, but I'm saying when you support the product and it's worth a certain thing, you don't try to depreciate it. You try to support it. Or you do without it. Plain and simple. You know? So, watch the energy that comes around you and these people. Don't look at it because they're your friends or whatever they are. Look at the person for what they are and what they're saying to you. And then you introduce your product to them. You don't bring those people around you because they're family and friends. And, and try to uh, appease them. Because they're going to bring you down. They're going to depreciate you. You feel me? So that's all I had to say, man. It popped in my mind. And um, I got to finish this cut before my client come. My client is on his way. Give myself a quick, quick 10 minutes and get it done. So, yo, yo, carry on, carry on.